808 on Channel 95.7. Connie and Curtis. We got sunshine today. Just a few clouds today. High is 79. It's 59 right now. 59. Got a light breeze according to those flags up on that Blue Cross Blue Shield building. Can I tell you a story about pink? Yes, please. So I talked to my oldest brother last night. Okay. And um, he was asking me what kind. He, he lives in Cleveland. Okay. So he was asking me what kind of music we play on Channel 95.7. And you said? So I was explaining it to him. Okay. And um, I used Pink as an example. Okay. Um, you know, we play Pink. We play, and I was listing off artists. And he goes, oh. He goes, people love Pink. I was just, he was he and his family were at Cedar Point this weekend because they live in Cleveland. Okay. So it's like 45 minutes Did away. they get injured by the uh, the snapping wire? They did not. They were there after that. Okay, good. So he goes, man, people love Pink. I was We were at Cedar Point this weekend, and I can't even tell you how many girls I saw walking around with pink on their <laughs> shirts. <laughs> I go, John. That's something else. That is a Victoria's Secret brand. Right. He goes, what? I'm like, that's a Victoria's Secret brand. That's a brand. That's a store. It's called Pink. It's not the singer. It's not the Oh, he didn't believe me. No, that's Pink. They <laughs> love Pink. <laughs> no, I think it was Pink the artist. I'm like, no. 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 That's great marketing. I can tell you've been married for a thousand years. I wonder who is going to sue whom first in mm, that instance. Mm-hmm. Because her name has been Pink forever. When did Pink Brand come out? I don't know. Because that's just a lawsuit waiting to happen. I mean, <sighs> if that happens with more and more people where we assume that Pink is Pink and not Pink, mm-hmm. trouble. Well, you know, he's not really into pop culture. He's like a right. he's like an NPR listener. Yeah, but but that happens around here with uh with all of our breweries that are popping up. Like they'll have a name for a beer and then it will turn out that somebody in Oregon also right. has that name for a mm-hmm. beer and now we need to stop making it here in Grand Rapids because mm-hmm. we're second or somebody in New Mexico will start making a beer with the same name of something from here where you seem they're totally unrelated. Right. But then, I mean, you're not going to think you're drinking that same beer. Well, I think the lawsuits would have happened by now. Pink's been around for a long time. Well, and that's what I'm wondering. In 2002, Victoria's Secret announced yeah. the launch of Pink. Yeah. When did Pink the Singer come around? I want to say that was before 2000. Yeah, like 99, mm-hmm. 90. That would have happened by now, I, I wonder why. And why ne- would she care? It's just getting her name out there. Look I, at- right. I wonder why it didn't happen. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Because they're not psycho. Neither one. But they need live to live your be. life. You people. need to be a little psycho. No, you don't. Did you see American Eagle Outfitters uh, is in trouble because they stole some uh, super cool street artist look? He has no. street art all over Miami. Okay. And they started putting it in their ads. And he sued them because he's like, I'm an underground street artist. I completely lose my credibility if I have sold out to corporate America. Mm -hmm. And you took this. They didn't use the actual artwork. They changed it a little. Okay. But he's like, it's obviously my artwork. They just changed it. He said, people are going to hate me now. Did he win the lawsuit? He did. He won a huge amount of money. Wow, that's interesting. Because they had taken it and they put it on uh, their their uh, where you take pictures. You know, you see the backdrops. Mm-hmm. They had it on the backdrops of pictures. They had it on their billboards. They had it in their ads. They had it in their stores. Okay. Everywhere. And he's like, this is not okay. And yeah, he won a ton of money. Definitely huh. did. What? Uh, when did Pink come from? Amanda's, Amanda's on the phone. Amanda's very busy. Pink the Artist popped up in the year. Do, 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 do. She was born in 79. Mm-hmm. Looks like her first uh, foray was like 2006, 2000. Okay. So 2000. So she was around before the band, uh, before the store. I wonder why they didn't ever sue one another. Connie and Curtis, who's this? Hi, it's Crystal. How are you? Good, Crystal. Crystal. We're great. What do you want to say? Good, good morning. Um, just to kind of come about the whole pink versus pink thing. Yeah. I think the reason why pink never uh, sued Victoria's Secret about it is because the I in her name is an exclamation mark. So it separates the two. Ah, uh, she owns pink with an exclamation uh, point and pink doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that makes that's sense. a good point. I'm I'm scanning Wikipedia here and I cannot find it. You would think that somebody would have sued it's or something. It's kind of surprising that they haven't. Right. Yeah. But it kind of makes me like both of them more. I, I like <laughs> them too. Interesting. Yes. Okay. So 2000, good she point, came Crystal. out. Good point, Crystal. Uh, so Thanks, we, babe. we knew about her in 2000 and then uh, 2002, Pink, the brand, pops up from Victoria's Secret and they never sued one another one time. Hmm. I like that. Misunderstood. Uh, she had had two albums out already by 2002 when the brand popped up. Mary's on the phone. Mary, what do you think about this? 
Well, I I just happened to get in my car and heard you guys talking about what you're talking about. Yeah. And it reminded me of there's a little restaurant in Battle Creek called Sonny's Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Little guy, true American, biggest American I've ever, just a little guy. He believes that everything should be bought and made in America. Okay. And um, there is a chain of restaurants in Florida called Sonny's Barbecue. And they spell theirs with a U, where this little guy spells his with an O, because that's actually his name. Right. Okay. And um, they sent him a letter and told him that if he didn't cease and desist that name, that they were going to sue him wow. for millions. And this poor guy, he's just a little guy. He's got Aww. a little barbecue behind his shop. Right. And, what happened? Um, he changed his name to Hogzilla's Funny. Barbecue. There, so even yeah. though he they spelled it differently, he still thought, yeah. or his attorney still thought that he th- they had a case. There was a there was a bar yeah. wow. uh, yeah. when I was growing up. There's a there's a bar called Grumpy's, and they had a picture of a like a troll outside. Yeah. And Disney told him they had to get rid of the troll. Because it was the like sign. a dwarf. And it, yes, oh, and yeah. it, it looked nothing like Grumpy from the from wow. the movie. But they had to take the troll off of the sign. Did they have to change their name? Yeah. No, nope, they, they yeah. could stay Grumpy's, okay. but they had to take the troll off of their sign. Wow. And Disney, wow. I don't know how Disney found out about that, but they definitely did. That poor little sunny guy. Yeah, and well, he's an awesome guy, by the way. So. Hey, where is that in Battle Creek? It's on Columbia Avenue. It is the best barbecue ever. Okay, if I'm ever in Battle Creek, I'm going to make a mental note. Yeah. Go to Sunny's on Columbia Avenue. No, go to Hogzilla. Yeah. No, or Hogzilla's. Hogzilla. Ho- <laughs> yeah, I'll be driving around. <laughs> drive- Sunny, hey, Sunny, hello. Mary Lida. Hello. We don't know where Sunny is. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. Have a good day. I can't find anything about why they didn't sue one another. You would think that they would have sued one another. Well, I'm glad they didn't. I'm kind of glad they didn't, too, but I wonder why they didn't. Like, there's got to be some back. Maybe she makes money from Pink, and that's all hidden. Maybe she loves the fact that her people like my brother think that it's think her. Think that it's her, and it, all it does is get her name out there, out there, out there, yeah. out there. It's I mean, that, more marketing than she could ever pay for. It is. That's that's very you funny. Know? And he thought the whole time that he's seeing this Pink. The, you should the have artist. heard how dumbfounded he was when I explained it to him. He was arguing with him. you. He was. He was I, not arguing with me. He was just like, "What?" And then I could tell he was a little embarrassed that he didn't realize that. Okay. Oh, John. Because Pink, the brand. So cute. Pink, the brand, has no exclamation point. Right, no. And Pink, her name, has one right. in as the I. Right. Boy, people must love that pink girl because it's all over. It's on Cedar their Point. butts. It's on their sweatshirts. <laughs> That's Amanda's favorite band. You can tell, right? Because he wears pink stuff about three times a week. Oh, so You pull funny. out the pink, I do. don't you? Uh, you love her. Oh yes! I never even thought I never never mm. never put two and two together that you were promoting Pink the singer. I, I knew of the brand. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. I'm a brand knower. It made me wonder if my sister in law. What my sister in law would know? She's far more hip than my. But she is. must not wear anything pink. No. Right. That's she's not really in that demographic. Like my wife doesn't wear anything pink. Yeah. But Amanda is covered in pink from yes. head to toe mm-hmm. every every couple of and days. And I have pink sweatpants. I love their sweatpants. But they're not pink. They're no. black. I never understood that. I have all different colors. I have one pair of pink pink sweatpants. Yeah, you need the double pink. <laughs> Just <laughs> need, one you pair. You need that right there. But yeah, they're super comfortable. Otherwise, right they're now. white. You know, and you're like, these are not pink. These girls are colorblind. These girls don't know what what they're saying, what their shirt says. They don't know what color their shirt is. Is what I always think about. The yeah, pink. my sister in law is not in that demographic. Okay, for sure. You should send her a, a little tweet or something today and say, "Hey, uh, old uh, old John Aru thought that everybody was supporting Pink the singer at Cedar I Point." I should and just and see if she goes what. Continue the ras. Do they have kids? Yeah, three boys. Three boys. So they're not in the Three boys. They're okay. not in the pain. They're not they're not dancing. I think Celeste probably would be That's I mean, wife? into Victoria's Secret. She probably okay. I'm, I guarantee you she knows what it is, but she's probably not running around in pink sweatpants. Okay. No. Well, you need to get her a pair. When's her birthday? Uh January. January one. We'll go shopping, you and me, <laughs> and we'll get her some pink sweatpants. Uh, we will and do John it. will be like, Oh, you like her music? Yeah. Oh, and a C D. <laughs> Very confusing. A, a CD uh, and the pants. Okay, done. And we you're will all do set. that. All That's right, Zane 17. Connie and. With me. Sam Smith. <laughs>
Yeah. Channel 957828, Connie and Curtis. Just gave you guys the old uh, jump up and shake your rump. What were you doing? What'd you think about it? That was the jump up, shake your rump. What'd you, you know think? what I, I thought? Yeah. Oh, Lord, his chair is on rollers, yeah. and I'm worried he's going to face plant into you, the counter. That's what you always think when I am interacting with chairs doing a stunt. <laughs> Anything that's on doing a stunt. It happened. It Anything hap- that's on rolling wheels makes me nervous with you. It happened at your house um, when Dan and I were uh, <laughs> doing stunts with chairs and uh, falling into the pool with them. You were very concerned. You got up and you yelled at everyone. We're not super coordinated. And in this instance, I just jumped with a chair. We're not very coordinated. And, but two, and I worry about you. But I'm two for two. What if I had smacked my forehead right on the old See? countertop? That and then I awesome. got to do CPR. Would you Would you do you knock CPR yourself out? Me? Yes. Even if I had the bloody mouth? Yes. I was I watching a movie the other day. And somebody, uh, they were like drowning, so they pull this drowning victim out of the water, okay. and they yak, blah, 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 and then the lifeguard still put her mouth on his <laughs> mouth, and I was like, that's why I could never be like a beach lifeguard. No, I think that you don't realize what you can do when you have to do it. Blah. If you're gonna save somebody's life, you, you just, just jump wipe in and it save. off. The adrenaline, yeah. And, yes, you save somebody's life. Okay, because in this movie. They yacked, and then she just, she didn't even wipe it. She just went right to the mouth for CPR, and I was like, oh. You're saving somebody. I mean, you're saving somebody. Yeah. I got, uh, I got some breaking news over here. You do? And this is news that's going to make you happy, Connie. Okay. Yay! And you sad, Amanda. Aww. And this is sad, but there's, there's a way for you both to be happy okay. by the story. Dateline Italy. There's a Dateline Italy? <laughs> no. Oh. Dateline means where is the story taking place? Oh. Italy. Did you see this story about the woman whose long hair was blowing around in her car and got tied to the steering wheel and she crashed her car? I did see that. Now, Amanda, you have famously long hair. <laughs> the longest of anyone I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> well, that seems like a lie. And Connie, you <laughs> famously last year cut your hair short. 10 inches. And you were feeling down about it. Mm-hmm. But does this make you feel better? You will not die in a hair-related crash. <laughs> sure. And Amanda, does this make you think about maybe cutting your hair? No. So uh, the girl's brother. How did that happen? It, 19-year-old so she couldn't girl. Turn her, she couldn't turn the wheels, so she ran straight into something? 19-year-old girl. She's right. driving in her car. The window is down. They're listening to uh, to some music. Probably uh, probably listening to us on the radio pub probably. app. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they're driving. Her brother is in the car with her. This is how we know what happened. Okay. Because her brother did not die. Right. She did die, sadly. What a freak accident. So yeah. the wind is blowing. You know how wind gets in cars. Mm-hmm. And oh, my goodness, my hair is now tied to it's wrapped around the steering wheel wow. so then she's like seriously my my hair is on the steering wheel get it off so while they're trying to untangle it oh. they veered into a into traffic and she was killed instantly because her hair got wrapped around this thing that is such a freak accident brother says uh yeah it uh, her head was like stuck to the wheel and they were trying to get oh. it so she's not looking at the road she's right there so will that make you get your hair cut amanda no i'll do it right now but it does make me want to drive with the windows up all the time. Yeah, because you don't want or your wear hair. your hair. Like today, you have your hair in a ponytail. Right. Ponytails. Uh, it's funny, the older you get, I mean, when I was younger and I yeah. had super long hair, it was always down. I had the windows down. Yes. I loved it. You didn't think about it. Now, at the older I get, that yeah. would be so annoying to me. Your to hair my boyed hair. around. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I think I thought I looked cute back in the day oh. or it was like sexy like a model. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Windblown. Now, no. No. You don't want that. No. It would be all in my lip gloss. What is the uh, the knotted. worst thing your hair ever got like wrapped around or tied up to? Um, like, do you remember anything? <sighs> Elizabeth got stuck to the chair at dinner last night. Elizabeth has the longest hair in our family. It goes down yeah. to her butt. Right. Like she is going to be an Amanda where she probably will never cut her hair because right. she loves it. And she hates it because it gets tangled all, yes. all the time. We swim or we camp, and she will cry for like an hour at night while we're combing her hair. Right. Last night we were outside, and it was a bit of a breeze, and she went to get up, and her hair was tied to the chair she was sitting in. Yeah. I've definitely gotten it hooked in um, blow dryers before because oh. the back part sucks in. Oh. I've gotten my hair hooked on a lot of things. Yeah. A lot of things. In fact, my one of my, my old hairstylist before I moved here. Yeah. Um, at one point, she had to sit me down and have like an intervention with me. Stop getting your hair cut and things. Because she, I carry big purses. 
Okay. And I wouldn't move my hair out of the way, and she could tell. She said, you carry your purse on your left shoulder, don't Uh-oh. you? Oh, what, what does that and mean? And I said, yeah, but she, she could tell from the breakage on the left side of my head oh. that I was carrying my heavy purse on there, and it was get, it was on my hair. Get your purse off your hair. I, that, I do now. Okay, I'm very good. careful. Well, now you got the short hair. See? So you don't even have to worry about that well, anymore. Well, I mean, it's below my shoulders, so it's still long by a lot of people's you got the standards. Good, you got the good look going on. Yeah. I wear we my hair up all the time, though, so. You're always up. Always. What about you, Amanda? You have long, beautiful hair. What's the last thing you got she's it stuck in? She's on the phone in? right now. Oh, she's always on the phone. <laughs> she gets it stuck in the phone sometimes, right? Sometimes no, it, it definitely gets stuck in places. It gets stuck in clasps on my purse. Oh. That happened yesterday. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my hair doesn't really get stuck on things. Well, you have super short hair. You always hear about guys when they, like, uh, sit on a uh, one of those chairs with the like the lattices and they have to call the fire department to help get them out of that that has not happened to me what? thankfully what? where part of them goes through the the lattice on the chair have you heard of that no like an old man is in a deck chair and then uh he slips through and then he goes to get up and it's like uh, one of those punching bags oh, and he, he can't get out i thought you were talking about your hair no uh luckily that's never happened to me but I, I'm ready for it at any time, right? I probably won't be helping you in that scenario. <laughs> please, please help me. <laughs> Hi, Amanda on the phone. Hi. Hey, Hi. Phone, Amanda. Has your hair ever been stuck anywhere? No, not mine, but I have a good friend, and we were in Austria. We were going up an escalator, and she tripped. And her hair got stuck in the escalator. Oh, my gosh. And we had to follow her all the way up to the top before someone, like, pushed that red button. Oh. Stop. She must have been having a panic attack. Yeah. <laughs> well, because you would think that you were going to die. Yes. You would think oh, that yes. your, your, your hair was coming wait, off wait, of your wait. head. There's a red button on escalators that at you the can bottom. push, the emergency one? Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. I didn't know that. It's at Why the bottom. Why is it at the bottom? I don't know. Well, because somebody on the ground floor can just run up and, and touch it. So you'd have to go downstairs to get it. Somebody at the there should be one at the top too. So they would see you. Help! I'm coming. Yes. And then hit you that just button. Hit it. So somebody on either side of you. Could but hit then it. if you can, you can only have one button though. Because if I hit the stop button and then you hit the start button and then I hit the stop button and you hit the <laughs> no, start. The stop button. button just always kills. It never. It doesn't Your really turn it back gone. on. Oh yeah, then the hair's off. <laughs> That's a scary story, Amanda. Falling and tripping on an escalator. Did she have to? Did you have to cut her hair to get it out? Uh, no, it took about. Us all, like, about 15 minutes to pull her wow. hair out. <sighs> oh, you just gave me goosebumps. Yeah, that is horrible. So then what uh, so what happened with her hair afterward? Did she go pixie cut? Uh, no, she didn't, like, she cut it shorter, but it wasn't ruined. Okay, well, that's <laughs> cool. Uh, that's good. Yeah. And, yeah, that's, and she still had her head, that's so scary. that's good, too. I thought it was bad yeah. when Elizabeth got stuck to the Thanks chair so last night. Uh, this woman dying in a car crash because her hair got wrapped around the steering wheel, and she couldn't get it off and w w drove uh, right into traffic. That sounds like something that would end up being an, an urban legend, and it's true. It's true. It happened. It's true. And her brother was okay. How was the? How were the people in the other car? Uh, it doesn't say. It just talks so about her brother. Okay. So they probably were okay, too. Uh, it says... Uh, fatal car crash, 19-year-old girl. Yeah, it doesn't say anything that okay, happened. So they must have been okay. She veered into oncoming traffic, and the brother says uh, um, that they, the hair was wrapped around. They tried to get it untangled, and they couldn't, and that she veered into the into the road. Boom. Mm -hmm. All because of hair. Something to be said for having short hair. That's what I'm saying. Or wearing a driving cap. A driving right? cap. Right? There are swim caps. Those they're cute also little hats that uh, they yes. don't like. They like... Um, in old, like, British movies. Yes, Oh, derbies. like in um, Sound of Music, you know, because they don't have- Old hats, like in the Sound of Music, you know, those are nun hats. No. <laughs> that you're thinking of. No, I'm thinking about that the dude wear, that, that like, the dude, the, the guy. Like a derby? Yes. Like a, a derby, derby hat. yeah. Not like a derby hat. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Hi, where did you get your hair stuck? Well, it wasn't me, but it hurt just as equally because the other day I had my rook pierced, which is like the inside of your ear. Yeah. Okay. And, and they pierced it with a ball and a hoop. Okay. Well, I was with my friend and we went to take a picture together. So we put our heads together and my hoop was gone and my she has extensions and oh. my hoop got caught around the bead of her extension and so when we pulled away oh. it ripped hers out and it ripped my ear. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> wow. But we were still like latched after we pulled away so we had to like try to get it out. It hurt really bad. Yeah, yeah so, that would that just gave me goosebumps so, too. Yeah, <laughs> what what do you do you cut out the extension? Because those are expensive. Or do you let her rip your ear? What did you guys decide on? 
Well, we got it out, but my ear was really sore and it was bleeding and stuff. So, and her, the bead of her extension was really loose. Okay. So she had to just take it out and go put it back in. But oh, oh my god, well, I'm gosh. glad you're both okay. But no yeah, kidding. that'd be a tough one because I just got this earring in, and you just got your extension. Oh, I don't know who who wins that. Taylor, you know? Taylor. It was oh. a, such a it was a fresh ear ear piercing too. It was like a week. Oh, so it was still tender. Yeah, oh! definitely. Yeah, that's the worst. Oh, that awesome. Thanks for the story, Talking Taylor. about this uh, woman in Italy. Her hair got wrapped around the steering wheel, and she crashed her car and died. Uh, so not really that funny, but talking about where your hair has been stuck. Yeah, when you have long hair. Hi, Janelle. Where'd you get it stuck? Hi. Well, Hi. you know, I've gotten it stuck in a lot of places, too, and the blow dryer. Yeah. And, and the curling iron. Back when we used to use the curling iron, and, and once you, you know, you mm-hmm. got to get the hairspray built up. Mm-hmm. But I just wanted to really say I love listening to you guys in the morning. Thanks, and Janelle. Honey, we have so much in common. We do? I, it, <laughs> do we? It's, it's, it's really, although I'm the older one, but we grew up on Tang. We grew up on the east side of the state. <laughs> we, we played Tick the Can. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's it's awesome. Just, you guys are like I, I twins. Think, and and we love the coffee psychic. And the last time when I you guys had her on, she hit home with me so much. She did. Oh, my goodness. That's cool. When she seen the smiles, which was from my husband who passed. Oh, oh right, yeah. Right. That's yeah. you, Janelle. It's me, Janelle. Oh. And, and it was just, oh, yeah. Unreal how much she hit home with everything that day. Yeah, that was a spooky one. She's freaky yeah. good. Yeah, she Joy is. Joy and the Coffee Psychic. She'll be on with us again in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, but she awesome. she sometimes, like, I, my jaw will hit the ground here. She will say something to somebody, and I'll be like, how are you doing that? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah she's there, good. There is, there is no way. I mean, my husband was so hairy, and there is no way she could have known that. Right. 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 I yeah, because you know. Curtis will say to me, do you think that she calls our listeners before? And yes. I'm like, how would she be able to do that? I think she, she lives does. in Illinois, or I think Indiana now. She, she lives in Indiana. She I moved. think that she does call people, <laughs> and she says, here's no when to call. We're going to get you in. No, she's scary good. It's it, Wait, yeah. where did you grow up on the east side, Janelle? I grew up in Dearborn Heights, Westland okay. area. Okay. All right. Very fancy. We were neighbors growing up. Awesome. Well, thanks Ooh. for calling. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm going to start calling. When you call in from now on, uh, say you're Janelle, my sister. Wow. Okay, I will. All right. <laughs> Have a good day, Janelle. Why, you too. Bye, honey. Why are they making hair dryers with a suction on them so that your hair gets sucked into part of it? I think it has to do with... Because um, the air has to move. I get that. Yes. But, but that seems to be a flaw, a design flaw. Well... <sighs> Yeah, it doesn't happen so much anymore. They have like a little screen that goes over it now. Okay. Um, but you get like sucked into the mechanics, into does, the engine part of it. And it's definitely gotten wrapped around like in the oh, old school ones. Yeah. So I think, and it hasn't happened to me in a, in a few years. Has it happened you're... to you, Amanda, recently? Uh, not that I can recall. I mean, I do remember getting stuck in there and then having burnt hair. When you were young. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. you'd smell it sometimes oh, before right. you even feel it. Is that when like your dryer is all the way in your hair? Like, you know, like if you tip crazy. your head over and you're just. And it gets on top of it, right. Yeah. So that's user rare. And then you hear. <sighs> right. And then you're like, ah! Then your hair stinks forever. You got a little. I was going to say something because your hair does stink, but it's good to know that that happened when you were a kid. Not stink. (laughs) Where I thought that it had happened recently, but no, if it stinks forever because of that, your hair does not stink, Amanda. Thank you. You're welcome. You You got very pretty hair. You got good smelling hair over there. Thank you. You're welcome. (laughs) So weird. Don't get it wrapped around anything today. No, I'm going to try not to. I have it up, so the chances are good in my favor. Do you ever? You have a sunroof in your car, don't you? I don't. Do you ever see anybody driving down the road with a sunroof and their hair, their ponytails flying yes. out of it? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. Well, and I think that's going to be a hot mess to comb and later we on. guys, we don't understand like how sensitive hair is. Yeah. You know, until and I really because uh, I think grown ups are less apt to totally screech at you for like you're on my hair, you get off my hair. Like if you're kids. in the bedroom or you're doing something, uh, you know, maybe and you roll over on somebody's hair, but. Uh, kids will tell what? you immediately, oh, you're on my hair. Get off my hair. Well, kids are way more sensitive about hair. You, my um, my nieces, I hear all these stories about, no, you can't brush my hair. They cry. They right. this or that. And by the time you get 
to be in high school and after high school, you you're just, so used to you it. You just brush out the you pain. Right. It. You, you like, don't even whatever. care. Pain schmain, you say. Pain schmain. Bring it, you say. Come <laughs> yes, on, I got this, schmain. you so say. Your girls will grow out of it. It'll just be once they're out of your house. I think maybe we'll just shave their heads. You're not going to do that. I said to Elizabeth uh, yesterday, uh, she had her hair, she got out of the shower, and her hair was all, you know how when you go get your hair cut and they wash your hair, yeah. and then you're looking at the mirror and you're like, oh, I should just do this, and mm-hmm. you say that as a joke because your hair looks ridiculous. Mm-hmm. She had ridiculously poofy hair, mm-hmm. and I said, your hair looks great, we need to make this your new look. And she says, good night, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> she, knew, she knew I was kidding. Uh, Donnie and Curtis. <laughs> Miley, Miley, and Channel 95.7, Connie and Curtis. It doesn't seem like it's warming up super quickly yet today. It doesn't? Because it looks no, sunny. No, we haven't even hit 60 yet. Earlier this morning, it looked like there were zombies walking around Ottawa. Like, everyone was in slow motion. They're not having a good time. They have their jackets on. It's funny that you say that because... Um, last evening, before I went to bed, I was going through my news feed. Okay. Just perusing it. And I noticed that a lot of people had really bad days yesterday. Oh, so that and could I have be a lot of, of friends today. from over the years on Facebook that are listeners. So these are people that I don't know personally. Okay, but there, so it's a very good cross section of you know the population. Yeah, there are. I'm not kidding you. A lot of people, like every other post, sometimes back to back posts, yeah, were different people saying, "I had a bad day. This was a horrible day. I just want this day to be over. This really? day sucks." Lots of you know words that I can't say on the radio. Like what? Like words I can't say on the radio. Come on, just one. <clears throat> no. Give us one of the words. So I wonder if something, did you have a bad day yesterday, Amanda? I did not. I had a fine day. Yeah, so did I. I think I had a great day yesterday. Yeah. I'm trying to think what I did yesterday. I left here. Okay, so that already I'm like bad a thousand. <laughs> I'm feeling great about myself. Uh, uh, ran some errands. Uh-huh. Uh, grilled out some chicken uh-huh. on the grill. I cooked it Ooh, perfectly. That good. So that was like a huge win. I... I was pretty impressed with myself yesterday because of the meal that Curtis, I put together on the when grill. When was the last day you were not impressed with yourself? There have been some Ever? times. There have been some times when I maybe have had some under or overcooked meat on a grill. I'm talking about in general. Yesterday was chicken <laughs> breast, and I grilled that. I mean, I grilled grill the Master crap Curtis. out of it. That's it awesome. was juicy and delicious, and <clears throat> nobody complained about it. Everybody ate it. It had the perfect amount of like black on the outside. Everyone loved it. I made some uh, garlic bread mm-hmm. in there too. Mm-hmm. It came out 100% perfect. Was not burned at all. Mm-hmm. Perfectly melted butter. Mm. <laughs> like it was a it was a home run grill it was a day. Wind day had a couple beers while I was cooking because that's the only way I know how to grill yeah. is by beers. That's what Dan says, yeah. too, that is hilarious. So you, that's how guys learn. That's so you, funny. You need to know, like, okay, one beer, flip the chicken. Two beer, put the garlic bread on. Three beer, let's go eat dinner. Four beer, fight with the wife. <laughs> that's what happens. Why are you drinking four beers here when you're making dinner? I'm like, I, that's how I keep time. I don't know. How does she know how many you drink? Because I like have to come because because we live in Michigan and you get a deposit, you so I have to put the cans oh, on yeah. the stupid counter. See, Dan doesn't do that; he puts them right out in the garage. So I never He's have no any dummy. idea. <laughs> He's no I dummy. I never have any idea. He's no dummy. Ah. so she'll look. Uh, I got like a side glance because there are four cans lined up, and it's been twenty minutes, and I'm grilling, and then I'm all of a sudden I'm in trouble, and it's like I don't want to be in trouble. I don't believe N- she yells at you knock about it that. On. And then don't don't try switching to cocktails. Because the minute you pour one cocktail, then, like, whoa, are you off tomorrow, I get? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not off tomorrow. I'm just enjoying a cocktail. What? Did you pour a cocktail last night? I had night? a cocktail last night. What was the cocktail? Went uh, with Maker's Mark and 7-Up, which is delicious. A little a bourbon and 7. Uh, so After good. four beers? After four I beers. I would be on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't get on the floor. I mean, wasted. <laughs> oh, I would be on the floor wasted. No, I, no, you wouldn't. I just read an article. Yes, I would. Uh, no, I just read four an article. Four beers and I'm drunk. Hold on. Even if they're Bud Light. Hold on. I just read an article. What? Women don't get drunk. They get tipsy. And men get hammered. That's a lot. It said, uh, it, this is, if you scan Facebook and things, mm-hmm. uh, for, it doesn't matter how drunk a group of women are, they will never use the word hammered or clobbered right. or wasted right. because that is not feminine. Mm-hmm. And a, a female has learned somewhere along the line right. that girls don't get hammered. Right. So it said uh, that you will always read how tipsy 
the girls are. Or they had a buzz. And I had a buzz, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, why did, why did you text him? Or oh, I had a buzz. If you're from the West Coast, you're faded. I was, man, they I'm so that. faded. Yeah, I was faded. Exactly. And it said, guys, guys will blast the word hammered and wasted and blitzed all over. It's because a badge like of a badge honor. of honor. It's yes. a badge of honor. And uh-huh. women are embarrassed. So you don't get, you don't hit the floor Oh, wasted. no, we do. You're tipsy. I'm here to tell you so we do. So four beers and then a cocktail. No, I would be. And uh, then it's time to sit down and eat some dinner. So you have the chicken, and it was so good. So you had all that before dinner. What did, what did you have after dinner? After dinner, do you have uh, no. some sort of like wine? Well, you got to have wine. Dessert no, wine? I had no, I had nothing to drink after dinner. Okay, I did have a uh, a vodka lemonade later in the day, just because we had one lemonade that I had to get out of the garage. One can left. I'm like, I got to use this up. Let's try this. But that I wasn't even drinking that like to have a drink. That was just to get rid of the lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> so that doesn't count. Sorry, officer. He just I wasn't drinking lemonade. Drink. Sorry, officer. I just, needed no, to get, I just needed to get rid of it. I was at my house. I was at my house. You know, I wasn't. I wasn't officering anything. <clears throat> I'm sitting in sitting in the house. Mm-hmm. And I said, Katie, do you want some of this? And she's like, No. I'm like, All right. No, it's 11 a.m. Yeah, I'll drink it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I have not had a good day drinking experience. For a while, I need. What to get does out. that mean? Like a good one, like we're, like a good one, like where I leave here and then just go to start drinking in the day. Okay, I need to have another one of those. What has it been a week? Those are classic. You poor baby. No, it's been a long time, months. What? I'll go. Okay. Let's do what? it. Boom! You two are gonna day drink. When yes. are you gonna do it? Where do you want to do it? I don't know. When and where? Today. Today you're doing it? I don't know where we're doing it. Today I have to get my hair cut. I have some errands to run, but along the way we can do some day drinking. And I'm going to come with you to your errands? I think so. Okay. Well, you can finish up stuff here while he goes and does his thing. Because you know he'll be out of here by 10 15. 10 08. And then then you guys can meet up after he's (laughs) got his haircut. And And that's good because I'm going to my wife's um, high school reunion on Saturday night. And I've already been told that I am the driver. Oh, so tonight, today is will be my day. You know why she did that? Because she wants to get drunk with her friends. No. Oh, why? She doesn't want you to be you when you're drunk. You be you. <laughs> no, <laughs> she I'm doesn't gonna... want you to take your clothes off. I don't care what you think and what she says. It's, she does not want funny. you to take your clothes off. Taking your clothes off is funny. <laughs> no, not for Katie when it's you. No. When it's other people, she's, maybe. She's concerned. Uh, I don't know so much about me embarrassing her. She's concerned about me walking out there with more friends than she had in high school. Yes. And that's trouble. And you will her. keep that in check if you are not wasted. But I don't think so. And I there are so many will. taxi cabs. I mean, it's a big city. You're I mean, going to drink. We're, we're going to be, be fine. And Curtis. there are hotels right down there. <sighs> this will work out. Day drinking today. We're doing it. You and, and Amanda. And Amanda. <laughs> Finally, Amanda, you I got know. your wish. Do you want it? It can be even cheaper. Let's do it at uh, your pool. Okay. Perfect. Except we're not allowed to have alcohol there. We'll do it at my house. Okay. Well, Aman- that's what the- these mugs are for. Amanda that's true. We could do it at my knows. pool. We would just have to conceal it. Amanda and I will go to my house and have a day drink today. And then about 10 of them. What do you drink? What's your drink of choice? <laughs> I can bring my own. No, because we're leaving right from here. Oh. At 10.08. Probably beer. Just beer. I got I'll beer. I'll just drink beer. I got other things. We have a full bar. I can tell you what she likes. <laughs> Moscato. Pink Moscato with some lemonade in it and strawberry vodka. Lemonade and vodka in your wine? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, and um, that's a little much. uh, What was the white soda? Or was it lemonade? Oh, well, that was, they don't have that in Michigan, sadly. It's uh, Diet Sunkissed Lemonade. Oh, okay. And I haven't been able okay. to find it at any grocery store. You shouldn't have got rid of that lemonade, Curtis. Well, I had one left. I had to. It didn't fit in the. Yeah, you could put like seven up in one. it. You, you could. could do seven up instead. Okay. Like that's, Diet 7 That's up. what we're doing. And we're, oh, I cannot wait to hear all about it. We're going to be Instagramming. Our adventure all day today. Okay. Connie and Curtis on Instagram. All right. It's going to be us just sitting at my house <laughs> drinking. Kids are gone until about 1 o'clock. Okay. Katie's out of the house. All right. It's just me and Amanda hanging out in day our bikinis drinking. day drinking. I cannot wait. Wait this will be to awesome. hear a full report tomorrow morning. This will be awesome. Yay, Amanda. Congratulations. Yay. Legendary. Thank you. Legendary. Yeah. Connie and Curtis.